The Macon Police Department is calling the death of 51-year-old Albert Jelks a homicide. A few weeks ago, Jelks was found badly beaten on a sidewalk near Vineville Avenue. He later died from those injuries. 41 NBC's Jasmine Williams brings us the latest now in this case. Most people consider Friday the 13th an unlucky day. For the Jelks family, it would be the last day they saw their loved one alive. Now they're asking for your help. The family of Albert Jelks made an emotional plea for more information leading to an arrest in their loved one's case. Our goal is to find this person who did this to our brother, but we also don't want another mother or father or sister or brother or friend of anyone else to have to go through the heartache and agony that we have been put through since July 14th. They described Jelks as an ordinary guy who loved his family and trading baseball cards. He enjoyed his job and worked at a local mattress store on Vineville Avenue, one of the last places he was seen before his death. He was beaten, his right eye destroyed, and his skull cracked. We cannot believe that our big brother was hurt so badly and painfully and just left to die. Investigators are now ruling the case a homicide. Based on what we saw at the crime scene, uh, we had to wait for the medical examiner's report to um, justify this. The staff at Sharks Fish and Chicken can't believe someone would want to hurt Jelks. They said he was very friendly and stopped by every day to eat and grab a sweet tea. Yeah, I'm surprised why why did they do that to him? Because he's he's a nice guy. He you know seems quite nice guy. Terrible that he get hit in the head. Some people they say he gets shot. With no arrest, the Jelks family hopes these rumors will lead to a break in the case. Now, Crime Stoppers is offering a $1,000 award for any information leading to an arrest. If you have any information, call 1-877-68-CRIME.